In terms of hydration, sometimes when you're swimming, you don't necessarily feel like you need to have yeah. a lot of fluid. Uh, it, it would be a sensible thing to maybe um, get a bit of a feel for how much you sweat in a pool session mm. and the way you do that is to weigh yourself before the session and then weigh yourself after the session um, on a set of scales obviously dry yourself down completely after yeah. the session um, and see the difference in um, I guess your weight loss and yeah. we, we assume that a lot of that's coming from um, sweat loss obviously there's going to be some some losses due to other factors but if we presume most of that is is sweat loss mm. then you can work out how much fluid you lost over the session yeah. so if you lost one kilo over the session and you also know you drank say a 500 ml bottle mm. it means over that two-hour session you've lost 1500 mils which is 1.5 kilos so uh, you know that in those kind of conditions yeah. um, in that sort of temperature pool and, and it's good if you swim in the similar pool all the time because yeah. it's going to be very similar whereas running obviously it's very different if you are running in 30 degrees versus maybe eight degrees in the morning mm. or whatever so it's going to vary a lot more.